we should also point out that there was this, you know, there was a significant story that broke a week before the election. I mean, I, I, this is when they took the story and they took the New York Post, or the nation's oldest newspaper, off of Twitter. They weren't allowed to tweet about it. They weren't mm. allowed to promote the story. It was a week before the election. I think it was Media Research Center that did a poll uh, later on. 16%. 16% of Biden voters said they would reconsider their vote if uh, they knew about the Hunter Biden story at the time. So, I mean, that would be more mm. than enough to, to change the election results oh, if yeah. that were true. I mean, some of that might be second guessing or whatever, but still, this is it was an it was a story that absolutely should have been out it there and would, was suppressed. Yes. And uh, it was, you know, all of them, misinformation, malinformation. It was all of it at the same time. They, they demeaned the people who were telling the story. They and wouldn't they hid the story from people. It was really bad. Then so let me ask you. When is America going to stand up and say to these institutions, shut the F up, shut up. You don't have a right to deem me a messenger of dismiss or malinformation. You don't have a right to do that because you get it wrong all the time on pretty big things. You, you, because you did that, we are now looking at possibly a global war, a financial collapse, and China buddying up uh, with, uh, with Russia, coming out against us, and we've got a president in office who's taking money from the Chinese. I mean, shut the hell up. Shut up. Shut the pie hole. You have no right to tell me. This is why freedom of speech is so important. Because uh, as our founders said, as our founders said, when they were going against um, the uh, uh, Sedition Act, they had this great debate on it. You should read the words of the founders as they debated back and forth. They were so against anybody uh, silencing speech that they said, even if they are knowingly lying in the press, we cannot suppress it. And they, they said, the, the government, what? We're going to have the government say the institution that the press is supposed to stand up against and check, we're going to let the government tell us, no, you can't question that, or that's misinformation or malinformation. What happens when that story is right? This is their, this, the, the, I mean, read the words. What happens if that story turns out to be Right. So what right do we have to say that? Because it might be right. Yeah, the government should have no role whatsoever in that process. And, and if and they do, they're out in front. Jen Psaki's out in front of the press corps every day saying that these these institutions should censor yes. people who give out the right. information they don't like. And through ESG, they're all in it. They're mm. all in with the government. When are we going to say, ah, I don't care what you say? I mean, they have lost so much. There is no credibility left with any of them. Any of them.